In order to be able to study in Germany, you have to prove that you are able to finance your stay in the country for the period of your study. Without it, you can't get a student's visa or a student's residence permit. Blocked account is one of the most common ways of confirming your funding. In this video, I'm going to tell you all you need to know about blocked account in Germany as well as all of the changes that are happening to it in 2023. Hi guys, I'm Evgeny Elisev and today's video is all about the blocked account. I have opened it for my visa application, I had problems because of it with my residence permit application, I have closed it after receiving a scholarship as I didn't need it anymore and I have helped my fellow students with their issues. So I basically have a great number of experience covering all possible scenarios that you might be facing with a blocked account. Now I want to share it with you so you can avoid any troubles. I know you're already facing a lot of obstacles on your way to study in Germany, so let's make it one less today. If you are new to my channel, it's all about helping you to improve every aspect of your life. I also have a playlist of videos all about studying in Germany with a great number of practical tips for you. So feel free to subscribe to maximize your chances of entering your dream university as well as study there successfully. Now, let's get started. In very simple terms, blocked account is a special type of a German bank account that serves as a guarantee that you, as a foreign student, have enough finances to support your living in Germany. Now, all citizens of European Union can study in Germany without a blocked account. It's called blocked because even though the money on the account fully belongs to you, you can't get it all at once. Instead, you receive a certain amount per month to your normal bank account and then you can use it to satisfy your needs. The account is open for one year and can be prolonged if needed. The exact amount is determined by German authorities who calculate how much students need for their monthly expenses. Now, because of the inflation, this amount changes from time to time and usually upwards. Recently, this amount has been increased from 861 euros to 934 euros per month, which amounts to 11,208 euros for one year. To illustrate the whole process, let's look at Tom. Tom is a prospective student in Germany who just got his admission letter to his dream university and now needs a blocked account. He chooses a bank for his blocked account, he opens his account there, transfers the necessary amount to it plus all the fees, receives the confirmation from the bank that he has an account as well as the necessary amount in it. Tom includes the documents to his student visa application. Once he successfully gets the visa, he uploads it to his bank to unblock the account. He also opens a normal bank account and provides its number so that the money is transferred to him every month. Several months later, Tom applies for a residence permit in Germany and once again includes his blocked account confirmation, even though by that time it already contains less money. In some cases, though, the whole process takes longer and this first year of blocked account may be coming to an end. So the foreigner's authority asks Tom to prolong his account for one more year. Tom goes to his bank and asks them to do it. They require to transfer the respective amount of money to do that. Tom is of course pretty upset about it, but has no other option, so he goes for it. Once he transfers the money, he receives a new confirmation and gives it to foreigner's authority and finally receives his residence permit. This story happens again every year until Tom finishes his study or has other means to finance his study like a scholarship or a salary. Once he no longer needs the blocked account, he goes to the bank and asks to close. The bank can't do it, however, until Tom provides the respective document from the foreigner's authority confirming that he no longer needs the blocked account. Once it's there, the bank closes the account and Tom receives the rest of his money. Now, before we move on, if you find the video useful so far, hit the like button to help it spread to more people as well as help me to promote my channel. It significantly helps with the YouTube algorithm, so if it's not too much to ask for, it would really make me happy. Thank you a lot, and now let's see where and when you can open your blocked account. Not every German bank provides a possibility to open a blocked account. Here is a list of all possible options. I personally would recommend just two of them, namely Fintiva and Expatria. 
I have used the first one myself and have heard a lot of good reviews about the second one. So the main advantage of this tool is that it's online banks. So you don't really need to go to Germany or be in Germany to open an account there. Instead, you can do it online and the whole process takes you no more than 15 minutes. After you open your account, you can transfer the requested amount and wait a few banking days till it arrives and get your confirmation. So I would advise to start the whole process at least a week, better two weeks before you apply for your visa. To make sure that firstly you don't get into trouble because of the slow bank transfer or whatever might go wrong and secondly just don't get any additional unnecessary stress. You already have enough, don't you? Now let's dive into the opening process. Another huge advantage of Fintiba and Expatrio is an opportunity to get a health insurance together with your blocked account. It's actually the option I went for because I didn't need to do anything extra to get my health insurance. No additional application, no additional effort from my side, and the bank doesn't charge you extra for helping you with the insurance, so I don't really see any downside. In addition, they give you a free travel insurance, which you might need in case you come to Germany before your first semester officially starts. What Fintiba does charge is 89 euros initial fee to open your account, as well as 490 monthly to operate it. Expatria is a bit cheaper, it charges you 49 euros to open your account and the same 5 euros monthly. And yeah, maybe in some conventional offline banks it's gonna be cheaper, but I would argue that it's definitely not worth tons of headaches that you're gonna get trying to open an account there. Anyway, let's see step by step how you can open an account. I'm gonna focus on Fintiba as I have worked with it, but the process is very similar in Expatria. So firstly, you provide some personal information, then you write your planned day of arrival, the start of the semester date, some US tax related info, and finally, some agreements. As you see, very simple and straightforward. Afterwards, you get your account. Then you have to upload documents to Fintiba, like your passport or letter of admission. Afterwards, you receive your transfer information document with all the details you need. It's still the old numbers for me here, it's gonna be a bit higher for you. Once you transfer the money and it arrives to your account, you get your blocked account confirmation as well as health insurance confirmation in case you included it. This document you attach to your visa application. Now, what's very important is also this little block here. You can follow this link and using your credentials get a document which proves how much money you have on your account at a certain point of time. I haven't attached it to my application for the residence permit and it slowed the whole process for several months. After you upload all the necessary documents to Fintiva, like an enrollment certificate or your student visa, and after you have opened a normal bank account in Germany, you can set your payouts in Fintiva just providing your IBAN number. If you need to prolong or cancel your account, you can do it in your online account as well. What's important here, prolongation for one more year would cost you additional 89 euros in case of Fintiba and I suppose additional 49 euros in case of Expatria. Also remember that to close your account, you would need a certain confirmation from the foreigners authority. So you have all the necessary information now about the blocked account, how and where you can open it, as well as what might go wrong. If you still have some questions though, feel free to ask it in the comments. Now, as you are preparing for your studies in Germany, you might be wondering how it actually is to study here, how challenging it might be, how hard you have to work to be successful. In this video, I am sharing with you my experience, my ups and downs, so you can get an impression of studying in Germany as well as not repeat my mistakes. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get even more useful information.